today's video we'll explore layer properties and how to manage it very professionally okay so that your client will be very very happy with your work here we go over here we've got a 3d view of an object for which we'll be creating the front the top and the left hand side view as you can see over here i'll be giving you a step-by-step -step approach how to create this very neatly and apart from that the most important thing is these elements as you can see the dimensions are in the aqua color whereas these outlines are in yellow color and these are what you call the hidden edges i mean these dashed lines represent the hidden edges these are what you call the center lines center lines center lines what we'll basically try to do is we are going to make our work very very professional by categorizing all of these elements into layers for example let's say i take this drawing to a boss and i ask him that's up how is he drawing is there any problem with it well he may ask me to remove the hidden edges okay so can you see this bulb over here if you click on it and automatically you'll see the hidden edges or the dashed lines disappeared okay and you can switch it back on no problem you may also come across a client who just wants the outlines and he does not want to see the the center lines he does not want to see the hidden edges so you can switch them off switch off the hidden edges and switch off the center lines let me switch it off okay you can also assign colors you can also assign the line weight you can set the transparency all of these things are available to you if you watch carefully there are these construction lines let me double click on this okay this is the layer for construction and let me double click just below transparency at 60 right now the transparency has been set to 60 i can increase the transparency let's say i make it 80 hit enter just observe all of these construction lines what will happen can you see the difference okay now the transparency is 80 percent you can increase the it further no problem let me make it 90 so basically this is your pencil work whenever i say use 4 edge pencil for your construction work that is exactly what i mean to say right so all of these things and much more coming up in today's session so stay with me right till the end as we are going to explore this layer panel in detail okay so before beginning the video a small tip for all of you this video is going to get long maybe 30 to 40 minutes better to increase the speed of the video from the player settings down below okay here we go let me click on a new tab first of all here it is and better to switch switch off all of these grid lines now what we'll do is uh, we'll first of all make the partition lines and uh, the partition lines are going to be let me hit f8 to switch on the ortho 300 let me take it as 300 okay enter once again zoom out using scrolling and then let me make one more partition line probably going through the center here it is absolutely vertical looking good hit enter once again enter select control x control v let keep it at a safer distance from this origin now that is the partition line i will now insert the image over here let me minimize this and uh, here it is click on it control c this is the image and uh, where is the drawing <clears throat> one sec control v you can click anywhere on the screen okay that is going to act as its base point click and then you can increase the size okay i think this is good enough for us and uh, click again and now it wants that do you want the rotation or not first of all tell me okay do you want to keep your image at a certain angle no we don't we want to keep the rotation angle as zero that is no rotation zero enter done so this is the pictorial representation of a machine element or a machine component for which we will be creating the views so you can see the arrow is over here so this is meant for the front view and by the way this is first angle projection front view top view and the lhsv is what we are going to be making okay so front view from here top view from here and left hand side view from over here although if, if I, there is absolutely no reference between the left hand side view and the right hand side view also you can go for rhsv as well no problem the two essential uh, parts of this machine components are one is the boss over here okay slightly extruded from this top flat and then this lobe over here 
if you watch this when you watch it from over here the length is 100 so whenever you are making this partition lines okay make it three times of the length so three times the length is almost 300 so this is 300 i have also taken this to be somewhere around 300 right there is no specific rule as such okay just to make sure that uh, there is enough space for the front top and side views of our object all right increase the speed of the video okay okay sir now what let's start first of all by making an assumption that the bottom of our object is this is the bottom of the object is at a certain height let's say 10 millimeters from the ground from the hp that is the first thing. the back of our object that's the back of our object is at a certain distance let's say 10 millimeters from the vp and the right hand side face of the object is at a certain distance or the left hand side face of our object is at a certain distance from the profile plane okay and that is 10 millimeters for that to happen what we'll do is we'll use the offset command hit o that is the shortcut enter select the offset distance as 10 millimeters hit enter select object to offset left right top bottom done now here we'll start by creating our first layer and this happens to be the construction layer i'll click on this tab over here okay i'll write construction T R U C T I O N. done and now what is the color that you want to do sir let us keep it very simple uh, let the color be white line type is continuous what about the transparency sir construction lines are i mean when we make manual drawings we use a very light pencil or we hold our pencil very very softly gently okay so that lines are barely visible four edge pencil for for example let me keep the transparency to have that 4H pencil effect. Let me increase the transparency from 0 to 60 and uh, done. That is your first layer. Now we are going to select these construction lines and we are going to assign them to a particular layer which can be managed through this panel over here. Click on this drop down arrow, select construction. Now you can clearly see the difference. Okay. This is zero transparency. This is 60% transparency. You can clearly spot the difference. Once our drawing is created, we are going to, or we can fine tune the transparency also. We can increase it or decrease it as per our requirement. Okay. As per our client also. Okay. So from where to begin? Should we start by creating the top view or the front view? Well, that is your choice. Let me zoom in. If you take a look at this object from the top, the outline is going to be that of a rectangle. This is going to be 100. You can see this. And this over here, that is 80. So we can first of all create an, a rectangle 100 by 80. And there are going to be as many as three circles right at the center. Look, uh, these circles are having diameters of 60, 50 and 30. Okay. This is the drilled portion, right? The drill is of 10 millimeters, you can say the whole is of 10 millimeters and then there is this boss portion so all of this can be created uh, very very easily let me start by creating a rectangle 100 by 80 so uh, use the rectangle command rec hit enter and now you need to select any point on the screen select okay now you go for dimension we'll make 100 by 80 rectangle d for dimension now length is 100 and uh, width is 80 done so yes sir done now, let me click on this let me move it this is the base point let me bring it over here that is my rectangle very well now this is the rectangle which i can see very very clearly from the top i'll make a new layer this layer i'll call it as the outline let me write it down o u t l l i n e okay and here let me select the color to be yellow let me increase the line weight let's say this line weight is going to be 0 0.3 millimeter now if you watch if you watch uh, 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 this is for line weight right now it is off you need to click on it left click okay it has been switched on get out of it click and assign it to this newly created layer that is out you can see this this line is yellow in color having a certain amount of thickness which is 0 
3 millimeter fair enough okay sir now what right now auto by by default auto card has a layer which is zero layer okay this is the default layer in which you work even if you don't make any layer you are working on this default layer right now we've made two layers also it is the construction and the outline okay let me get out of it here also from the drop down you can see those layers zero construction and outline let's say you want to specifically specifically work in the construction okay so what you you basically can do is you can select this now you are in the uh, not the construction you are now you are in the outline layer and uh, once you hover your mouse on the periphery of the rectangle let's say you want to make a circle select the circle command okay better to select the center diameter once you hover your mouse you will see a center of the rectangle this is the center of the rectangle the biggest circle that you have is having a diameter of 60 so enter the diameter as 60 and hit enter create it done okay the second circle that we are going to create is having a diameter equal to 50 and the third one is 30 all of them seem to have a common center okay the second one hit enter once again because the circle command is still active select the center point then the next diameter is it going for diameter or radius i think the best approach would be uh, <clears throat> c for circle okay hover your mouse on the rectangle this is the rectangle center and uh, no 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 c for circle over your mouse and that is the center i want to go for diameter d for diameter hit enter the diameter is 60 enter this is my first circle okay now please look we are right now on this layer of outline let's say i remove this let's say we are right now in this layer zero the default layer in autocad even here if you start making the circle using the circle command so it is the center this is the center what is the diameter so diameter d enter and diameter is 60 this is going to be your circle okay let me show you one more approach right all the same properties will be applied here don't worry the second circle is having a diameter of so uh, 50 that's 50 and that's 30 use the circle command once again click for diameter hit d 50 enter and now again hit enter click for diameter hit d enter the diameter that is 30 enter done lovely okay sir now i want to make sure that this yellow thick line property is assigned to all of them so what we'll do is we'll go for the option of match properties okay select the source object this is the source object then click 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 and done automatically right now it is hit escape right now we are in this default layer of autocad okay but the moment the moment you click on any of the circles you will see here please watch here i click on the innermost circle automatically this layer has been assigned to it don't worry okay this match properties option is also going to be very very helpful for you okay one of the most uh, mostly used uh, tools in autocad right so we are uh, pretty much done with the top view and if you watch carefully there is an edge over here which is not going to be visible from the top and it is at a distance of 15 millimeters from both the ends there is an edge here also so that edge is hidden so hidden edges are represented by dashed lines so at a distance of 15 what i'll do is let me uh, use the offset command <clears throat> i'll first go for can we explode this let me tell you what when i select this you can see this is a complete rectangle isn't it you can use the explode command so either you can x is the shortcut enter now you need to select the object this is the object okay selected enter again it has exploded now this has been divided into separate parts let me just show this to you these are separate so one rectangle is made it made up of four lines four separate entities now what i'll do is i'll use the offset command once again and this distance happens to be 15 o enter 15 is the distance select object to offset to the right 
to the left done now these are the hidden edges they have to be represented using dashed lines how do you do that again what i'll do is i'll make a layer let me show this to you hidden okay what is the type of uh, the color uh, let me choose the color as yellow line type there is only one option solid line no i need more more what i'll do is i'll go to this drop down go for other as you can see there is only one option of continuous go to other there are plenty of light types load okay the, these are the line types S click on any one of them hit control a okay they'll be loaded over here hit okay now when you go back to the layer properties panel this is for the hidden line the color is yellow now click on it so this happens to be my dashed lines so i am going to use this dashed where is this dashed hit ok all right get out of it now let me select both of these lines and i am going to assign them a new layer that is hidden but but sir uh, it still looks like a solid line when you zoom in you'll see this okay it's a dash line but sir uh, these are dashes their the size of the dashes have to be increased okay so what we'll do is uh, we are going to use line type scaling click on it right click on any of the grips go for properties and here increase the line type scaling to um, uh, let me increase it to 10 let's see what happens okay this is a hit and trial approach close it how does this look so 10 is a bit too much isn't it so let me make it 7 how does it look now yeah 7 is good now you can apply the properties from this match properties and then you can click it over here okay so that both of them have the same properties again you can clearly see this also belongs to the hidden line hidden layer this also is belongs to the hidden layer so far so good all right anything else that we've missed um if you watch again there is this hole over here it starts from this point until this point at least from the top it would appear that this way so uh it would be better if you can locate the center of this hole so the center of this hole would be at a distance of 40 from either this corner or this one then the hole is having a diameter of 40 that means on locating the center take radius as 20 in the front and 20 at the back you can mark those hidden edges very very easily so what we'll do is um we'll go for just show this to you where is the center use the line command see a triangle can you see a triangle somewhere here yes here is a triangle this is going to be my center line for making the center line i will have to create a layer again go to layer properties this is for new layer center center line for color hit on this red okay and you need to select a specific line so for center lines are chain lines okay there is a long dash then there is a small dash then there is a long dash and then there is a small dash something like that center 2x enter the color is red and even here we have to maybe go for the line type scaling select the layer center line okay uh, right now this is how it looks we can increase it click click on this grip go for properties increase the line type scaling to 5 let's see what happens nice nice uh, 5 is a bit too much <laughs> let me make it 3 okay yeah pretty good pretty good and extended even beyond the outline now 
as i told you from the top the edge starts from here and it ends here so we need to show this again from the center 20 forward 20 backward so from the center 20 forward and 20 backward i'm going to use the offset command o enter 20 is the offset distance click above click below and done right i'm going to use the trim command now er double enter trim 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 and uh, we are pretty much done with this and now these are what you call the hidden edges so they have to be represented by dashed line so i have selected all of them now i am going to change their layer this is what i'll do okay and i think the best option would be that you need to also apply the line type scaling also uh, the best option would be to simply select this go for match properties and then select all of them so that the same line type, uh, line type scaling applies to all done and now you can remove all of these <coughs> this is going to take time once again increase the speed of the video and watch okay is there anything else that i can do anything else let me just check this i think we are pretty much done with the top view two pair of hidden lines one pair and then this pair two pair yes okay now we can go ahead with the front view before i do that uh, one more thing that i would like to do is we are right now in the zero layer uh, let me use the line command again click match properties okay done very well click lengthen over here click and let me take it to the front view also let's see what happens okay we can break it anytime that we want all right now what <clears throat> let's go for the front view now if you check this i mean this is sort of an inverted u profile that you need to first of all make okay this height is 70 then you need to travel this distance of 100 and then 70 in the downward direction again okay that is going to be your approach so what we'll do is we are going to first of all use the construction lights and uh, we are right now in the zero layer let me go to the construction layer okay hit l for line and let me continuously make these construction lines let's say this is the height enter let me select let me go for copy let me select this as the base point keep on making copies and even here 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 any profile that remains no sir we have covered all of them now as i have told you you can see this height is nearly 70 and then this way and then 70 back so what you can do is you can go to your original layer of hidden not hidden but outline l for line you can start here how much sir this is going to be 70 this is 15 by the way which you can match you can go all the way here double enter the line command is reactivated here and what else sir? Uh, if you watch this distance happens to be 10 so you can offset this offset by 10 so go for offset o enter distance is 10 millimeters so click and below done now you can use the trim command tr double enter trim 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 done okay what else what else do we need to do 
सर वी नाउ आर गोइंग टू मेक दिस सेंटर लाइन ओके फॉर दिस पोर्शन नाउ व्हेन यू आर व्यूइंग इट फ्रॉम द फ्रंट दिस इज द टॉप एज एंड दिस इज द बॉटम एज सॉर्ट ऑफ ओके एंड द सेंटर इज 30 एम एम बिलो सो थर्टी एम एम बिलो यू हैव देंटर सो टेक द ऑफसेट ओ टेक द डिस्टेंस एज वन सेक ऑफसेट इज ओ डिस्टेंस एज थर्टी एंटर थर्टी बिलो ओके आई नीड टू कन्वर्ट दिस इन टू अ सेंटर लाइन सो क्लिक ऑन दिस सेंटर लाइन गो फॉर मैच प्रॉपर्टीज एंड मार्क दिस एज योर सेंटर लाइन राइट नाउ दिस इज योर सेंटर लाइन एंड आई थिंक द बेस्ट ऑप्शन वुड बी टू यूज द ब्रेक कमांड बी आर एंटर लेट मी ब्रेक दिस फ्रॉम ओवर हियर I mean, you should lengthen on both these sides. Click, select the grip, go to the RHS. Okay, done. Now, again, you need to use the offset command. When you look at this from the front, so you have the location of the center, 30 mm below this top, 30 mm below, and from the center, 20 up and 20 down. That will make the diameter as 40. So 20 up and 20 down. Use the offset command again. Select the distance as 20. Enter 20 up. 20 down 20 up 20 down again what you will use you will use the hidden match properties match properties apply them apply them now you can use the trim command tr double enter chip off these portions and done oh this is also left better to drag it okay we are almost done with the front view uh, there is this portion that we need to give respect there is a hole drilled over here this is 30 mm by the way and this hole is having a depth equal to this much that is 10 so uh, what is that sir this is that hole i'm talking about it starts here and it ends somewhere here so this line has essentially essentially needs to be converted okay so uh, how to approach this the best way forward is to first of all break this br enter double enter okay and now i'll use the trim command trim trim and go for match properties apply apply done done wonderful anything else which is left in the front view sir this boss portion you have not made the boss portion okay so the boss essentially starts from over here right how high that is what you need to work out sir this is 20 mm and it is going to end somewhere here and sir uh, this inner circle i mean the edge from the left to the right will not be visible to us so they have to be made with the help of hidden lines let's do it uh okay twenty to the right Oh no, no, here we need to stop somewhere here. Okay, and one more thing. This is the hidden part. Double enter. enter right now go for match properties click 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 again match properties click click we are done we are done with the front view also let me reduce this center line my pc is getting a very very slow now 
आई थिंक आई नीड टू मेक कई पैसा खर्चा होगा भाई अब नया इन्वेस्टमेंट करना पड़ेगा सो वेन एवर यू आर वर्किंग विद सच सॉफ्टवेयर बेटर टू इन्वेस्ट इन अ डेस्कटॉप देन अ लैपटॉप ओके यू कैन कीप ऑन अपग्रेडिंग योर डेस्कटॉप दिस फैसिलिटी इज नॉट फॉर लैपटॉप्स बाई दी वे राइट इन्वेस्ट इन अ गुड डेस्कटॉप एकदम बहुत जोरदार पी सी बनाने का एनी वे या सो दैट्स दी फ्रंट दैट्स दी टॉप लेट वी जस्ट मेक अ क्विक चेक ओके वी आर गुड डू दी डेविस्टिंग एट दी एंड डोंट पारी नो प्रॉब्लम लेट्स गो फॉर दी साइड व्यू फॉर मेकिंग दी साइड व्यू स्टूडेंट्स वॉट वी नीड टू डू इज अगेन यू नीड टू यूज दी कंस्ट्रक्शन लेयर ओके एंड लेट मी स्टार्ट बाई ड्रॉइंग लाइन्स keep on doing this until you hit the partition line okay better to select all of them use the mirror command mi that is the shortcut hit enter and then use this center line as your mirror line hit enter again anything is left sir this use the line command again now you need to rotate all of these lines by an angle of 45 degree you'll reach here and then you need to move in the vertical direction that is upwards so uh use the line command again at the rate let's say 100 angle 45 okay use the extend command ex double enter okay we've reached here that's where we want to reach right and but i need to bring all of these lines all of these lines in fact so use the copy command shortcut is co you can use it from here also this is the baseline click 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 now oh, i mean you can even extend this Okay, it is going to meet here. Use the trim command. T R double enter. Select all of them. They will be chipped off. Select all of them once again. They will be chipped off. Done. Now you need to move in the vertically upward direction. And by the way, how much upwards? Well, that has to be only. Yeah, this is your boundary. This is how much high you need to go. L again. L enter. enter uh the best way forward students is to select this go for the copy command co enter this is your base point selected and then you can keep on copying it okay you see the squares over here green squares done now your task is going to be easier now uh we need to make the side view uh, left hand side view precisely so how to start or from where to start this 80 portion is going to be visible to you what is the height height is going to be 70 watch height is going to be 70 and by the way uh you have to bring lines from here also let's start by first of all making this boss portion okay that's the boss and that's the lobe uh um, the boss portion starts from here okay from here and it ends somewhere here right and this is where from you 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 need to make the boss portion so better to start off with this outline no 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 don't don't select this as your outline outline use the line command again we are going to start creating the boss okay we have to start from over here let me see mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. okay okay 
Okay. Again, the hidden portion. This portion is going to be hidden, right? So what I'll do is better to use the break command br enter break it double enter the command is reactivated break it go for match property straight away enter click done so the boss portion has been created in the left hand side view um see there are two holes which you need to make first of all okay one is the smaller one while the other is the bigger one and they both share a common center right so let me just give you an idea this this bigger circle it has a common center so okay go for the circle command that is the center no shift right click and intersection done okay now what you can do is you can chip off the remaining portion uh, basically you can use trim okay, and then you can remove this portion done what else sir there is this circle there is this circle so you can make this use the circle command again this is going to be the center point and this is what i'm talking about this is the circle i'm talking about right okay then you can go straight upwards use the line command and then join with the lobe and then go straight upwards join with the lobe now as far as the hidden portion is concerned uh what is left mm, in the left hand side view we have made the lobe the lobe portion is done okay e if you look at this from the right hand side this edge will not be visible if you take a look at it from the left hand side again this edge will not be visible so respect has to be given okay that edge actually is this one over here so what i'll do is i'll use the break command break The better option is to convert this construction line into the center line so again go for match properties okay so wherever you see a circle there has to be sort of center lines has to be in this plus form right yeah we are pretty much done done okay one thing is left let me just make a quick assessment of that uh, here it is right the main objective of today's session is to teach you a bit of orthographic presentation but apart from that how to manage your layers as you can see we've made as many as four layers by now center line construction hidden and outline okay so that your drawing looks very very professional okay if you if your boss wants that i don't want to see the hidden lines you can switch them off okay <clears throat> this portion see this portion this portion this is the hidden line in the front this is the hidden line same hidden line in the side view so uh, use the break command first of all click on any of the hidden edges go for match properties click click brilliant isn't it now the drawing is complete what we'll do is we'll go for the dimensions and again for making the dimensions i'll make a new tab i want the dimensions to be of the cyan color so let me go to layer properties and let me select this dimensions okay let me select the color as cyan and hit ok what else let me give you an example uh, first of all if you watch uh, this is the dimensions panel okay by the way okay and uh, you have to go for linear there are plenty of other options also which we'll be using uh, as a diameter and radius right right now let us go for linear a dimension over here right from the bottom 
ओके डायमेंशंस गो टू लीनियर बेस बेस एज यू कैन सी वी आर अनेबल टू सी इधर दी एरोस दी एक्सटेंशन लाइंस एंड आल्सो व्हाट इज द टेक्स्ट यू नीड टू जूम इनटू दिस एंड इट इज शोइंग दी आई मीन वैल्यू अप टू फोर डेसिमल प्लेसेस सो व्हाट आई वांट टू डू इज आई वांट टू चेंज दिस डायमेंशन स्टाइल यू कैन मेक योर ओन डायमेंशन स्टाइल आल्सो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन ऑल ऑफ दिस इन माय ऑटो कैट कोर्स इफ यू वांट टू चेक इट आउट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू डाउनलोड दी एप्लीकेशन द लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ओके गो फॉर डी ओके दिस इज गोइंग टू ओपन अ न्यू विंडो द डायमेंशन स्टाइल मैनेजर क्लिक ऑन इट you go for modify you can create your own style by the way right now i'm going to modify the default style okay uh the first thing to do is a uh, text placement above see what will happen hmm? check out what happens over here can you see the difference no go for modify again see this is how the text has been written let me keep it above it is going to write above your dimension line right this way that is the first thing secondly uh, go for the iso standard always looks much more professional right fit i mean this is very very small let me use an overall scale of 20 hmm? whatever it is right now it is going to become 20 times bigger yeah i think with that we can go ahead primary units precision zero decimal places Yes, I think that is done. Okay, close. See the change. Can you see the change? Now you can keep on making the dimensions. Let me click on linear once again. Forty. Hit enter again. This way you can start making these dimensions. It's very very easy. Okay. Enter. this point and this point that is 20 by the way uh what else what else sir the the length is 100 and sir this is 80 done what else sir uh, <clears throat> you know this distance was given to us 30 okay that's how we we located this this 30 was given to us that's how we located the center what else let me mark it by radius you can mark it by diameter also no problem uh, let me go ahead with radius so the diameters are 60 50 and 30 if this diameter is 30 the radius is going to be 15 agreed yes sir uh, enter select this here the radius is going to be 25 enter again here the radius is going to be okay let me keep it outside looks much more nicer right i think we are pretty much done yes okay uh, if i go to dimension this profile enter click enter click are uh, done the dimensions are over right the dimensions are over now what you've just made let me go to the default layer okay whenever you want you can switch off any layer let's say you take this drawing to your client and your clients don't want to see the dimensions then you can say okay sir i'll i'll switch it off this is how you switch it off and you can switch it back on let's say you take this drawing to your boss who does not i mean who have absolutely no knowledge about autocad so if he wants to see only the outlines he may ask you to remove the hidden lines uh, i mean these lines are getting confusing manas please remove the hidden lines so with the help of one single click you can either switch it back on and off on and off right so this is the beauty if he says that please get rid of these center lines i am confusing the outline with the center line so switch it off this is how you can do that you can switch off the dimensions whenever you want so this is exactly how you can make your drawings look much much professional right so students that was all from my side if you want to enroll in my autocad course the link is in the description of my app download it install it it is the apk version don't worry nothing will happen to your uh 
to your cell phone okay it is very safe to download the apk version and uh, <clears throat> enroll in these courses as soon as possible a whole lot of students thousands of students have already enrolled in this autocad course by the way this is now available in english very soon in a month or two i will be launching this course in hindi as well okay uh, there has been a lot of requests to create the same course in hindi so i'll be doing that making remaking all of those videos back in hindi right so that is going to be a lot of fun so yes that was all from my side for today and if you appreciate this content to give this video a like and share it with all your friends and classmates so that they can also benefit right this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a nice day thank you